I'm going to show you how to make these numbers that I have on this clock. I went with the old tin shed look and put a little antique and antique wax on it. And I nailed them down. As you can see, I'll zoom in. Now you can use letters and make out and spell out your kids' names, or you can do Mr. and Mrs. And this project, you can do so many things. You could also do shapes. You can put it on cards. You could use it for scrapbooking. And this just gives you an example. I just taped this down so it would hold when I show it to you. So, and different designs. As you can see, this is a guy's tire design. There's just so much you can do with it, but I'm just going to show you how to do the numbers and antique it, and you can change it from there. So we're going to take a soda can, and we're going to take a Zacto knife, and you could use a nail. And what we're going to do is just try to twirl this a little bit. Don't punch her too hard. I would suggest using old scissors for this and gloves. I've done this so many times. And once you have that hole, you can start cutting. I've done this so many times, so I'm not going to wear gloves. And once you get a little bit of the cut there, go ahead and put your scissors in and cut. And it don't matter where or how, because we'll clean this up later. And, oops, sorry it's so loud. And then we're going to cut straight down and cut across. You get the idea. Next, you'll be cleaning this up, and I'm going to show you pieces. And this is what you'll have after you get it all cleaned up. Now, what I like to do is I take a wet paper towel so I can get all these little shards picked up. And then you can toss it away. Next, we're going to tape this down and use an old mat. And I already taped this down to save on time. And you will tape all the edges around. And try to get it as flat as you could possibly do. And then we'll be running it through the machine. Next, we'll go to our Cricut machine or our die cutting machine and we'll set our dial to custom. You want to open up Cricut Design Space and you're going to load up your font and choose whether you want to use a word or numbers. For this demo, I'm only going to use the letter B. And once that's loaded, you're going to go up to the top left hand side and there's three dashes and go ahead and click it. We're going to click Manage Custom Materials. And while this is loading, I'm going to let you know, for this font, I chose Zabar. I found it at 1001fonts.com, and I will list that in the descriptions down below. All right, we're going to scroll down to the bottom. We're going to pass aluminum foil, and we're going to use aluminum metal 0.14 millimeters. And it's right there. Click Edit. And you should have it set at 326 or 325, right around that range. You want to use 2X and you want to use a fine point blade. Click Save. Scroll down to the bottom and hit Done. Now for this font, I chose 2 and 1 fourth an inch. And you can choose what you like, depending on how big your metal is. Mine comes to about three and one fourth inch. So I can do about three inches or less. All right, once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and click on the right hand side and click make it. Look on the left side and you should have 12 by 12 inches loaded. And you want to make sure it's not clicked to mirror. Now, depending on where you want to start your font, you can move this over because you got to remember you have tape on the side and you have tape on the top. So once you place that bottom right hand corner, you're going to click continue. 
Now, if you don't see the Bluetooth right in this area loading and it's looking for the material, then you need to go back to your machine and set to custom material. All right, now aluminum foil is not listed here. So I'm going to click view all and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. It's blue and click aluminum metal 0 0.14 millimeters. Make sure there's a check mark next to it and hit done. Once you see the flashing light, we can load our mat in. And then we'll hit the Cricut logo once it lights up. Now I only chose one letter. This way this will move this video along a lot quicker. But you can do more than one letter or number at a time. Unload it. And then we'll take it over to the table. Okay, so now we'll got it pulled off of the mat and we'll have to jiggle it a little bit and it will pop out and just go around and be careful. Don't know if you can see that. When you get to these corners, you have to be really careful. And just pull it away. And then and pop that one out. There you go. All right. So now we got that letter done. For my cuddle bug, not sure what you have, but I'm going to go with the cuddle bug. I use the A and I don't use the two Bs. The reason is that's just too much. It's too heavy and it will break through. So I rigged something up. I took the B and, whoops, and my plastic. And you want to line this up and because this is straight you have to really line it up pretty good and you can look in the glass and see how it's going to line up not sure if you can see that okay so i used a glass and then i used a c and I used the cardboard that came with the plastic and I used a couple of pieces of paper. You could choose what you like and just play around with it. Use your old scrap and cut these in pieces and try it out and see what works best for you. It doesn't need to be really tight going through here. In fact, this is pretty light. All right, so you just put it through your cuddle bug or whatever you have, whatever die cut machine you have. There you go. That's what the bee looks like. And now we'll put some antique wax on that. Next, and I'll show you how to do that. Before I show you how to do the antiquing, I want to show you, you can do it without the antiquing and it just looks just as well. And all I do use is a nail at each end on these. And this is up against the red. And here's what it looks like against the wood. And you can make a long name or something above the coffee pot, Satan coffee. Okay, let's get started. Let me move this stuff. 
I use this antique wax. It's by Art Minds. I will list this in the description down below. I bought it at Michael's and I think it was $6.99 regular price. I used a coupon for 40% off and I think I paid $4.20. I'm not quite sure. All right, you're gonna shake it really good. You know, and there might be other stuff you could use for this. And if you know anything, list it down below in the comment, please. This way others can try it out. Okay, I'm gonna use a paper towel. You could use a paintbrush or you can use a sponge. I'm going the cheap old fashioned way and, and you should use gloves. And once again, I don't have any, so I'm not going to. What's good about this stuff is it really goes oh, on nice. You can, if you make a mistake, you could just wipe it off and it will come off. Also, you should wipe because you can see these lines. I'm sure if you can see that. I'll tr tilt it each way. And you can get into those lines. But it will, I'll show you, wipe clean. Because it does take about 24 hours to dry. So, I'll go back to that and and I use this on the clock. I really like this stuff and you can do a lot of projects with it. So, it's worth it for the price. And tomorrow if you don't like it and you want to add more stuff, you can. But it will dry pretty good on here. So, there you go. That's it. And you can change it up the way you like it. Play around with it. Oh, that's better. Okay, let me close that up. Thank you for watching my video. And if you like it, please like it and subscribe down below. And please share my video. The more views I have, the more videos I can make. And I guess I should put that on white so you can see it better. And this one is dry, by the way. And you can see it doesn't come off. That was after 24 hours. It might have been 48 hours. I don't know. It's been a while. But it's pretty good stuff. Stays on really good. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.